Watch me! I'm a I'm a good citizen! Watch me! I have nothing in my pants, like what are you doing? Fighting to anyone! On February 27th, 2017, officers Samuel Rosario and Orlando Manzanarius from the Springfield Police Department responded to a criminal damage report in Springfield, Illinois, involving 19-year-old Robert Humes. The complaint was related to an earlier incident where Humes' 16-year-old sister had caused property damage and fled the scene. Officer Rosario engaged in a contentious argument with Robert, who insisted on appropriate charges for his sister and demanded the officer's badge numbers. How we doing, bud? Better, huh? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Well, my daughter, she just like flipped out a while ago. I bought a money deal. Tell me I, was, I owe her like 40 bucks for chain hers. So she started flipping out. Yeah. She done turned over a couple totes and shit. Then broke my glass table that was on my front porch. Okay. So yeah, she's having a trip over right now. She already got domestic. And she's Locked been she's good. been in trouble with the police in the past. They said that she keeps on shooting juvenile. juvenile for that. They can get that's domestic. Yeah, exactly. yeah they got her for domestic. Hold on, hold on, come on. The other two officers that responded like less than a week ago about the same type of shit. The little motherfuckers didn't do shit. And it's oh, been an ongoing damn thing. And she's one point away from juvenile, but they won't take her. Yeah. Well that has nothing to do with us, as far as them taking her or not, you know what I mean? But what, uh, um, but correct. where, where's she at? Man, she, did you make a big circle know. around here? She ain't, she couldn't have gone far. 50 feet. Only thing I told her was get ready. I heard up about three toes in my house. She busted a glass table, which the table's no good, but she still had no business breaking my glass Absolutely. table. Absolutely. Absolutely. She and took off. Yeah. Do you know which way she went? No, that I didn't way. see. I was she went that way. She went, she went that way. Looney Tune joggers and a pink sweatshirt. Which one is it? My 16-year-old. 16-year-old. My 16-year-old. You want to see if you can find her? I mean, we got at least criminal damage. She at least getting two charges. And if y'all don't give her both charges, I want both y'all bad numbers. Here goes the bad I ain't going for that. Well, you know what? No offense, but if you're going to hear... Okay, keep walking then. Keep walking then. Yeah, he always says that bad number and... All this thing. Oh, yeah, first of all, you're not a police officer, right? Well, exactly Did you go to law school? Did you go to police officer school? Like, exactly you have a badge? Did you go through the academy? No, so do you know court. the charges or no? Man, I so you went to court once or twice, so all of a sudden now you know the law? So you went to court once or twice, so all of a sudden now you know the law? First of all, don't tell me how to do my job. I just got here. I just got here. You don't even know me. Man, if you want to do something, do something then, son. Little kid. Little say, kid. He just don't, basically said I it. just got here. Well, trying to threaten me, son. Oh, you God. call me God. over here and then you're trying to threaten me, son. I ought to slap you on some silvers and take you down yeah, the county. That's what I got to do. Because what you going to do? Arrest? What you arrest false arrest? You didn't just point that stick at me? You didn't just point that stick at me? Is your camera on? You see that red dot? It's Sorry. on. It's it on. on. It's on with your scary ass. Okay, sure. Sure. No, you watch what you say. You watch what you say. You watch what you say, kid. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but f all, you don't talk to me like that. You understand that? I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. And all of a sudden, before I even got here, you're like, y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna do I just got here. Get out my face. scary ass. I'm not here, my I'm right here. You're a rookie. Tensions escalated, leading Officer Rosario to make a regrettable decision, employing physical force against the young man. All right, Run all your right. Hold on, what? Done? Don't arrest him. Don't arrest him. Don't. Man, what's up? You scared? What's up? You got Done. His hands, you scared? In the aftermath, Officer Rosario faced 24 months of probation, and in August 2019, was found guilty of battery and official misconduct, resulting in the termination of his employment. In a distressing incident, 18-year-old Taylor Brown faced unwarranted aggression from the normal police. After a fire in her apartment, she willingly went to the police headquarters to answer questions, but was left unattended for 40 minutes. When she sought to return home, a female officer appeared and demanded her phone. There you go. Alright, are you, who are you on the phone with? So we're gonna have to seize your phone, so go ahead and hang up. 
Seize my phone for what? Go ahead, go ahead and hang up. Why? Go ahead and hang up. They want to seize my phone, but I'm not under arrest for it. You're not under arrest, but your phone's going to be seized. Um, so, no, no. We're gonna, so. You're going to hang up the phone. Um, I seized my phone, but so, I'm not in custody. So, so listen. So, three of them all around me. So listen. For you, you listen for a second. So the fire is going to be under investigation. That's fine. Okay, and we're going to seize your phone. Why? Because we are, because the fire is under investigation. I need to know what my So you can hand me the phone, or I can take the phone. But I need to know what my phone's being. They're not telling me a reason why my phone's being. I just, I just did. But you said it's under investigation, which I So, do. so listen to me, the fire. That's her phone? So the fire is going to be under investigation, and your phone's going to be seized. Is she? Yes, everybody's phone's being seized. Oh, no, because you never, you never told me that my phone would be seized when I got here. She didn't tell me that. Okay, and when I and when I got here, the detective wasn't here. We were waiting for the detective, so the detective's going to seize your but phone. no one told me any of this. Okay. You told me that you were about to take me home. Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. So, so you can hang up You home. can hang up your the phone, with, and I can take you home. Yep. It's not a threat. I've asked you several times, and you're just no, going to go back and forth with me. There's reason as to why my so, phone is being taken. So... The fire is going to be under investigation by the that's fire department. So stop, stop, stop. Don't what interrupt me. To do with my so don't interrupt me. The fire oh, is going to be under investigation. Don't ever tell me not to interrupt you and not okay. to come. So the phone's going to be seized. So but in a second, I want to take what it. I'm asking you. I'm so asking you, you a reason. So I'm not if, being rebuttal. I'm asking you a reason. So if you would like to talk to the detective, you can. Why is my phone being seized? If you would like to talk to the detective that is seizing it, you can. Despite Brown's protests and the late hour, the officer forcefully confiscated her phone, leading to Brown's unjustified arrest for aggravated battery of an officer. Multiple officers restrained her, making it difficult for her to breathe. Are you going to talk to the detective and provide an interview? Yes or no? Is that with or without the phone? Without the phone. The phone's being seized. Are you talking to the that detective or no? The, uh, I don't know. That's, that my, that's not my question. I need an answer to that before I... So the question is, are you going to provide an interview? No. No? Okay. Unless go ahead and hand me the phone. I have to know if my go, phone is nope. Go ahead and hand me the phone. Mom! 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 Do not kick. Do not kick. Okay. Push your legs out. Stop. Stop. Relax. Stop. Are you willing to provide a statement or no? What does that mean? Are you going to talk to me if we go back there or not? You are forcing me to. I'm asking you if you're going to But you're forcing I'm me not, to. I can't force you to talk. You're taking my items. I'm seizing this for now, yes. Are what you, does that mean? Do you want to provide a statement? My if I need okay. to talk to her, I need Fine. an attorney present. You can, you can, okay. I need a lawyer. You can take her to jail. All right. Take me to Where's jail? her property? Whatever charges you guys have. You have resisting an aggravated battery of a police officer. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll do the interview. You still have the charges. Relax. You assaulted me. I'm 18 years old and you assaulted okay. me. Of course I'm aggravated. I, I wasn't a resisting arrest. You didn't say okay. that I was under I arrest. Is this the back of your earring? Are you arrest? Are you putting something on my record? You're being arrested. I asked you. So listen, don't. I asked you to provide your phone, and you refused. Okay. When you I were, mean, you didn't give me nope, a reason. No, nope, nope. I said your phone was being seized. You, you said never no. Never gave stop, me stop, the reason. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. I said your phone was being seized. I asked you the I reason. You several times. I to trusted hand it to you. Me. That's why I came. You did not hand me your phone. Okay. Then we took your phone. I came here you willingly. You're going to jail. I kicked you out because you all were manhandling me. I couldn't move. I yeah, was scared. Yeah, we don't really kick police officers, but... I was scared. Hello, you change. would do the same thing. What is happening right now? I came down here because I thought I was doing an interview. Why am I in cuffs? Oh, I'd like to still interview you. That's not... But why am I in cuffs? I'm scared. Why are you all touching me? Why is my stuff being seized? You told me I was coming here for an interview. I came here under false pretenses. That is a case itself. Do you want to go back and talk or not? There will be three cases filed in the morning, I promise you. Yes or no? You want to go let's back? go. Let's go to the cage, the jail, wherever we're going. I need to make a call. Why would you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. You did lie I to did me. I did not lie to you. Time. You told me he was here when we got here. You told me I was doing an interview and you would take me home. Why are you treating me like I'm a criminal? There was a fire at my house. Correct, and that's what you were here for the interview. You said, yes! So stop yelling, okay? I'm going to talk to you. You said you were here for an interview. Right. right. Our detectives come in from Bloomington. I don't know how long it takes them to get here. I, I wasn't estimate. mad at you. So, I told you that. I know that. You said you did no longer want to do that interview, right? No, because so, I'm tired. So, I said I, I won't be of much help Correct. right now. Correct. So that's why you went to the lobby. 
I was going to take you home. Right. At that point, the officer wanted your phone seized. You didn't say that. You said he wanted my phone confiscated. You didn't give me that specific reason, ma'am. Because you were yelling at me for about five minutes. So because I, you, I wasn't understanding no. and I'm okay, asking that's you fine. the same question. I asked you the same question multiple times and you did not Put answer me. Put your knees in. You didn't answer me one time. That doesn't matter to you when I'm sitting here talking to you. I tried to talk to you and reason with you. You weren't, with your weren't reasoning with me. And you were just yelling. You were just telling me and I'm asking you questions like a human being. Although the charges were later dropped, Brown took legal action, filing a federal lawsuit against the officers and the department, alleging a violation of her civil rights. Social media echoed the public's discontent, decrying the officers' actions as unconstitutional. In a shocking turn of events on August 19, 2022, officers Kenneth Skeen, Gregory Regan, and Marco Flaw from the Albuquerque Police Department responded to a reported shoplifting incident at a Target store in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The situation took a disturbing twist when the officers, allegedly acting on information from a loss prevention employee, approached 53-year-old Matthew McManus, who faced undisclosed disabilities and was struggling at a self-checkout kiosk. Despite McManus showing signs of speech impairment and posing no apparent threat, the officers arrested him for resisting. Which is it going to be? You're not police. Yes, we are. Yes, we're we're out out here. Here. No, you're not. You're security. Oh, you got your pen and pad? Yeah, I do. Okay. So what's your name, man? Hold on. None your business. All right, then you're under arrest. Go ahead, put your hands behind your back. You're refusing to identify yourself, correct? Who are you calling, man? You ain't even... You ain't He's calling call 911. That's what he said, anyway. Say, just go ahead and put him in handcuffs because he's refusing to identify himself. Okay, hold on. Uh, I was just paying, I was just having well, my stuff speed. locked in my fanny pack. No, just go ahead and and tell the me. security guards came and I, well, I didn't take more time than anyone else. The other ones before me. So now you're going to be charged okay, with concealing identity, resisting officers, okay? No, no, I. And you're going to be trespassed so you can never come back here again, okay? Hold uh, up. No, that's not right. I was just paying my things. And I, I didn't know you were you were, you were you were a police officer. Yes, we told you that already. I didn't see your badge. Okay, well, we told you, right? You we all have badges. It's yeah. not our fault you didn't look, man. We security guards say they're no. police officers all the time. We identified ourselves as Albuquerque Police. We Let's go ahead and get him uh, stood up and searched. The reason to talk to you was they didn't want you in there no, oh, no more, okay? So we have the reason. We asked you your name. You didn't give us your name. That's what was the reason? They, they didn't, didn't want get... you there. And they have that right as the business not to want you there anymore. Okay? So what you need to do, we're going to help you stand up. We're going to put you in that patrol unit over there, okay? Sound good? No, it don't sound good. Well, that's what's going to happen. Hey, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Come on. Stand up. Stand up, man. Take a step for me and stand up. No, because, because, because I didn't do nothing. Yeah, 911, man. help me, please. No one's on the phone, man. I didn't see their bread. I didn't know they were police officers. Well, everything's on camera, just so you know. 
everything is being recorded by our on-body recording devices, okay? So it's gonna show that we identified ourselves as Albuquerque Police. We told you that why they didn't want you in there anymore. You became very uh, resistant in the store and out no, here. No, I didn't, I didn't when you, when Okay, you, sir, well, you know what? I'm done explaining. You, no, you, I'm you done have explaining to you. you have, no, that's fine. Me, I, I, I'm okay. done explaining that's to you. That's fine. You're under arrest. I, because I didn't think you were. No, they, 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 Concealing identity, resisting officers, okay? I didn't know you were police officers. I told I you, that's your own fault. You didn't listen, okay? I can't help you with that. You don't want to listen. But, I, okay, I didn't enough. believe you were police officers. Stand up. You didn't believe us? Like security guards. Okay. I have to say anything. Well, you have to identify yourself still. No, no, I, I have the right to remain silent. Not when it comes to your name. No, no, that's... You do, but that's why now you're going to jail for concealing identity, right? You're going to have to get it. Or better, you kind of see me. Yeah, you just said that trash. But that's not trash, that's important. Okay, stop. And I need my paper. All right, you know what? Hold on. Yeah, he's good. I didn't do anything. Step in, man. That's fine. Go ahead and take a seat, Mr. Vehicle. Pick up my papers. Yeah, we will pick them up, man. Go ahead and take a step. Okay, pick them up. Put your feet in. Don't catch a felony charge by hitting me or anything. Step in. But I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong at all. All I do is doing it was paying for my things. Yeah, and, that's, it was and you, and and you had to cut off more of my fanny packs. You know, it was so hard it is to get my money out. And I was trying to get my money out, and I got it all out. And then, then you came, and I thought you were a security guard. The subsequent events unfolded tragically as McManus, with his disabilities, was taken to the hospital due to unspecified medical concerns. All charges against McManus were dropped in October 2022 as he was deemed unfit to stand trial. The saga took a karmic turn when Officer Skeen, one of the arresting officers, faced charges of battery and false imprisonment, leading to his dismissal from the Albuquerque Police Department. In a recent encounter, a police officer pulled over a driver who had executed a U-turn. Despite the driver's explanation for the maneuver, the officer persisted in requesting identification, seemingly motivated by personal suspicion and potentially overstepping legal boundaries. All right, sir? Yeah, we were just, I was checking out something out on the map. Okay, all right. You do realize you stopped there, back there? In, in yeah, we thought, it, we thought we could get through, and then we saw we couldn't, so we turned around. All right, you got your driver's eye switches? I do, is it, is it, am I getting pulled over for something? Well, you pulled into the water driveway back there. To turn around. Yeah, and we're trying to figure out what you were doing. We're trying to identify you. Is that illegal? How's my ID going to tell you what I'm doing? Well, we're, ID uh, we're trying to identify you. Okay. For what? May, may I please have your driver's license? Is that a lawful order? Yes, sir. May what what infraction do you believe I've committed? pulled over over here on the road, and I checked yeah. out. Because so I was going to look at the map. I didn't want to get on my cellular device well, that's good. while I, I was driving. Well, I, that's good. I appreciate it. Do you have your driver's license? I have my driver's license with me, but I'm not certain I'm required to give it. Can you state some sort of statute or yes, sir. some anytime sort of you're, infraction? Any, anytime you're requested by law enforcement to provide a driver's license, you have to provide a driver's license. If, if you've committed some sort of infraction or you turn crime, around back there, was that, that illegal? illegal? Was that and, illegal? And, and you pulled in, so we're trying to figure out what was you're doing. Was that illegal? Doing we were trying to figure out. I understand that. We're trying to figure out what you're doing there. Right. But you're not to figure out what I'm doing, police. You're the law enforcement police. And that, we're trying to figure out. It's suspicious. Right. So we're just trying to figure out what you were doing. Is one, of your, is, is one of these cars your supervisor? Yes, sir, it is. I'd like to talk to your supervisor, please. You're going to talk to me right now. And do you have your driver's license? Am, am I lawfully required to give you my yes, ID? Sir. Yes, what, sir. What, for what purposes am I lawfully required? Well, what I just explained to you, sir. Suspicion isn't a crime. And well, I didn't break any words. Of, yes, of, of, of a crime. Of a crime. Of a crime. That you turn around can, back can there I just talk something. to the supervisor that's back there? No, sir. I need your driver's license. Uh, I'm done answering questions. 
Alright, sir. I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle for me, sir. For what purpose? Step out of the vehicle, sir. All I have to do is identify you, we can get you on your way. How is identifying me going to tell you what I was doing? Well, we're making sure that you're not a wanted person, you're was somebody that was going to go there and harm, the, harm the, the warden or something. However, the driver, well versed in his civil rights, stood his ground and educated the officer on the law, highlighting the importance of asserting one's rights in such encounters. Following numerous reports about a marked patrol vehicle exhibiting concerning behavior in traffic, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office dispatched a detective from the Special Investigation Integrity Unit to investigate the matter. The officer in question underwent a field sobriety test, which was prematurely concluded for safety reasons. When questioned about alcohol consumption, the officer provided conflicting and dishonest information, revealing signs of being under the influence. In a Texas 7-Eleven store, a group of police officers encountered a vehicle parked in a handicapped space. They approached a police graduate, a recent academy attendee, and requested identification. The police graduate, aware of his rights, refused to provide ID as the officers lacked reasonable suspicion. You see some ID? No, what for? I just asked what's your, you. What's your probable cause to ask me for ID? It does not have a handicap placard. Read the plate, man. You're, you're, you don't even know what you're talking about. DV, that's disabled veteran plate. We can park in handicapped spots. Let me see some ID, please. No. You have no probable cause. You're going down a bad road here. Really? I've asked you a question. Okay. And That's I have never seen anybody wear a police academy That's graduation your business. after That's they your business. graduate. I wear it all the time. Do my, do, do, do my training. And I can do that. Because I'm a graduate, I can wear the uniform. Have I can wear it. Have you been certified as a peace officer? Of course. Officer? I have my certification. What are you talking about? Do why, you don't you run the, why don't you run the plate? Why don't you run the plate? Run what? the plate, man. I we gave you permission. Did. And what did you see? You had to see the certifica right. certification. You had to see it. A captain arrived, and the situation took an unexpected turn when the police graduate effectively educated the captain, exposing the flaws in his approach and leaving him embarrassed in front of his subordinates. He just saw this, and he saw this, and he wanted to make a problem. That's your reputation there, Joshua. Come on, man. Yes, it is. <laughs> How many black officers you got? One. One. <laughs> one. Right. One. I know. I know. And you, and, and you barely, you barely let him in. And your reputation is already bad from years ago. You had a corruption scandal. You had a corruption scandal. You had to get rid of a lot of your, your PDs. And way before I got here. And you got one amongst your ranks. Are you finished? I gotta go. Are you finished? You should have run up on people. You have no probable cause. If you wanted to follow me and run my plate, you could have done that. Talk to anybody? No, well, I don't have to talk to you. And you did I don't have to talk to you. That's right. I already told you that. Waste my time and you. You're supposed to be a captain and you don't know the disabled plates have a right to park in a, in a parking spot. And you violating people's rights. Huh? Despite being proven wrong, some officers persisted in rude behavior, highlighting the challenges in exercising authority responsibly. On August 20th, 2022, Corporal Robert Barino of the Somerville Police Department initiated a traffic stop on Timmy Miles, a 42-year-old grandfather, as he left his residence in Somerville, South Carolina. The events leading to this encounter were set in motion when the Charleston police intercepted a FedEx package containing marijuana mistakenly delivered to Mr. Miles' address under a different name unknown to him and his family. In the course of a narcotics operation, Somerville PD officers placed a package on Mr. Miles' porch, monitoring from behind his home. However, when they lost sight of the package and Mr. Miles drove away, Corporal Barino pulled him over, mistakenly believing he had taken the package. Yeah, I sure do, I sure do, my face is hurt, man, somebody touch me, I'm a, I'm a good citizen. Yeah, we have to make sure that we're not, we don't have anything. They lost sight of the box 
and this car left we stopped it he didn't want to get out we had to extract him it's not there yeah yep uh we got uh the lookers it's on the porch still the situation escalated as officers forcibly removed Mr. Miles from his vehicle, with one officer resorting to physical violence. Despite discovering that the package was not in Mr. Miles' car and confirming it was still on the porch, the officers continued to detain him, keeping him in handcuffs. Somebody going to jail for real behind it. Huh? Anybody get it? You want to search it? What? This car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. C continue to search. I mean, we'll get a dog. Get a dog because right now he's going to say no. It's, I mean, we'll, he didn't pick up the package. So let's get a dog make sure there's probable cause that we search the car. I mean, I already pumped the trunk for safety. Come on, man. I want everybody called. Everybody called. Hey, you brave. You brave, cat. Without, you know, you real brave to be punching on choking people, man. You wrong. You had no business choking and pulling on me like that. I would have complied only if you would let me know what the was going on. I come out my yard, everybody swarming me and punching me and throwing me on the ground. That's ruthless. That's thuggish. And y'all called us mother up. Mr. Moses, we're going to wait for a chance. We're going to search for a dog. I do not want a search on my car. I do not allow a search on my No, 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 no. I do not, I do not come conduct a search on my car. See what you look at. Yeah, they called him. This is what the trunk open, but now. We thought there was a package in there. You were the driver or you guys? We did. It was supposed to be a control delivery. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, if I, if we can get that trunk closed for him. I appreciate it. Thank you. Did they notify you about sending me this this uh, to the traffic stop? Negative, sir. Can we get one for blackmail? Approximately 30, 35. Uh, complaining of head trauma. Nobody notified them, so they're coming now. Oh. They're coming. I confirmed it. They're coming now. Secure his phone. Mm -hmm. So I can um, do a search warrant. Didn't admit to using marijuana. No, I did. Hey, you know what? Just do the um, instant to arrest. We'll uh, hand it over rather than tow it. Yeah, this is stuff back behind here with this stuff, but he's got a corner cut and it smells like weed in there, so. Yeah, he has a couple baggies in the front as well. Yeah, yeah I'll get photos of them. Yeah. Following an unauthorized search of his vehicle, Mr. Miles was transported to the hospital by ambulance for medical treatment and was subsequently officially arrested. In October 2021, Officer Barino faced charges of third-degree assault and battery, leading to his own arrest. On December 28, 2016, Officer Matthew Mercado of the Walnut Ridge Police Department initiated a traffic stop on Adam Finley an employee of the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway Company who was operating an unmarked truck on railroad property in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas. Officer Mercado inquired about weapons, and when Finley, who had none, attempted to show his work supplies by stepping out of the vehicle, the situation escalated unexpectedly. Officer Mercado responded with sudden aggression, forcefully shoving Finley backward, placing him in handcuffs, and threatening to use a taser for arrest. You have anything concealed? Any weapons or anything like that? No. Okay. Well, no, what's sure. what's with the attitude? Nothing. No, you have an attitude, and what's your problem? I don't have no problem. Yes, you I'm do. I'm good. I can pull you over if I want. That's fine. Because I have a right to, uh, to ask you what yeah, you're doing I'll over there. Yeah, I work for him. Okay, it didn't look like you were working. Step back from me some, too. Oh. You get up on me again, we're going to have problems. <laughs> I'm glad you think this is a joke, sir. 
I work there. What were you doing over there? And why aren't you in a marked vehicle? Good. Good. But I didn't see you doing no work over there. And you then want I to go back over there and open the door? You should not put your hands on your back. Because right now, yeah, you're obstructing with my operation. No, let me tell you, I mean, I work for them. Look at all this stuff back here. What, what did I tell you about getting a bomb? You started turning around. What did I tell you about getting a bomb? I, I, I wasn't. I was going to tell you something that I could prove that I worked for them. What did I tell you about getting a bomb? I'm sorry, I didn't. Now, you want to be a no. I'm sorry. You better shut your Come here. However, the confrontation took an unexpected turn when both individuals parted ways and Officer Mercado released Finley. I'm going to let you go, but do you understand I could get you for obstruction? For government operations, just listen to me now. Assaulting a peace officer, I should take you to jail right now. All right? Let me tell you something. When you come in contact with an officer, mm -hmm. let them tell you why. Don't just start, what are you doing? I was just confused. Don't be confused. Yeah, I'm going to alleviate all confusion. Now, you put yourself in my shoes, sir. Oh, I'm strange. You're a police officer. Yes, sir. That's my property right okay, there. I'm sir. supposed to watch. Are you in a marked vehicle oh. that says railroad? No. And where's your plates from? Out. So, it's now could you see where I'd be suspicious of what you were doing over there? Yeah. Yeah. And then when I make contact with you, you're aggressive and hostile with me verbally. Yeah. And well, I mean, I didn't mean to be. I didn't mean to make a sound. Turn around. First time in my life, I didn't <laughs> And do you understand why I put you in cuffs, sir? Oh, yeah. Why? You thought I had a bad attitude? No, <laughs> like sir. Because be how many times did I ask you to stop approaching me? Well, I was just trying to find something that makes you believe me, you know. Okay, so let me ask you this. You ain't got nothing in your pockets, do you? Okay, yeah. because the next time I tell you something, <laughs> you're going to ride lightning. All right? Ride lightning. What's yeah, I'm going to tase thing? you. I'm going to tase you. Because... I have the right to defend myself. Oh, yeah. But when I tell you once, look at me, Adam. When I tell you once, please do not approach me like that. Don't come to me like that. Mm -hmm. You have to listen to me. Oh, yeah. Okay? I'm not sure where you're from, sir, but I, I listen to people when they tell me something. Okay. So cop or not, man to man. All right? And this is all being recorded. So don't later on try to complain that, that I roughed you up or anything like that. I won't. Because you know I should take you to jail, right? You don't understand that. Because oh, yeah. if you want, I'll take more of your time and we'll go through the books and I'll oh, let you no, see it. No, I'm good. I'll now, do you need me to call your boss and let him know, know that I held you up? No, I'm good. Any questions, I'm good. sir? No, sir. Do you want me to write my name down and stuff for you? I don't know. What is it? Matthew Mercado. Matthew Mercado. Yes, sir. Okay. Did we learn anything today, Adam? Oh, yeah. What? Learned a lot. Okay. Have a good one. Subsequently, on April 5, 2018, Finley filed a civil rights lawsuit against the city, alleging unlawful arrest and harassment by a Walnut Ridge police officer in 2016. The lawsuit concluded with a noteworthy outcome, securing Finley a substantial payout of $57,500. On Route 206 in Southampton, Burlington County, New Jersey, State Trooper Joseph Drew initiated a traffic stop with the body camera capturing every moment. The encounter began with tailgating, but took a more invasive turn. Drew, exuding authority, accused the driver of marijuana possession. You ever been stopped for marijuana before? I don't know. Have you ever stopped someone for marijuana before? Despite finding nothing during the car search, Drew was unsatisfied. He handcuffed the driver, forcing him onto the busy highway. Wearing blue latex gloves, the trooper reached into the driver's underwear, violating his privacy. This is the worst thing I'm going to do to you right now. Uh, you have another uh, thing coming, my friend. I'm the, uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this hand. is like... Like, I don't have nothing in my pants. Like, what are you doing? A sense of powerlessness pervaded the air as passing vehicles remained oblivious. Months later, the man sought justice in a courtroom. A man was filming the inside of a police vehicle, 
catching the attention of officers who asked him to talk because of his seemingly suspicious behavior. Refusing to engage, the man asserted his right to film from a public sidewalk. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Okay. You concern me because you're recording the vehicle. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? You okay? Hello? What are you looking for? Hello? Please don't touch me, thank you. Okay, well, what are you trying to do? Let me ask you a question. Sure. Do I have to talk to you? Well, you're in my vehicle, you're being suspicious. Yeah. That's my question. You're being suspicious, aren't you? Do I have to talk to you? You should if you're being suspicious. Yes, you it's have a yes to. no question. Yes. Do I have to talk to you? If you're being suspicious, yes, you have to talk to me. Yes. When do when do the citizens ever have to talk to the police? You're just sticking your camera into my car. When do the citizens know. ever have to talk to the police? When you're doing suspicious stuff. Never. Look yes, at what no, you're doing. I never have to you're talk to you. You're doing suspicious. I never have to talk to you. Yes, you do. You're never. To so if you do a crime, never. you don't have to talk to me. Never. It's called the Fifth Amendment. Okay. That you swore to protect. Remember? Do you know what the Fifth Amendment is? Already yes. Right to remain silent. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. But look what so you're why doing. Why do I have to talk to you? Because you're doing criminal-like activity. Criminal right life? Yes. You see, you're what crime? What recording crime? the inside of a private what crime vehicle. Is that? It's not a crime, but it's yeah. very, so how very is it suspicious. Criminal? But it's very, very suspicious. Is suspicion a crime? If someone, if you were sitting inside a car and someone took a camera. Is suspicion a crime? Yes. Think about what you're suspicion's doing. Suspicion's a crime? It could lead to a crime. That's why I'm investigating. Wow. That's why I'm having a crime? conversation. Suspicion's a crime. See, why are you doing it? level two encounter, okay? This is a, what we call level two because okay. you're, there's criminality afoot right now. How? Because you're digging into a private vehicle, digging. police vehicle, I'm digging trying into to your look. Vehicle? Yes, you are. I don't know what you're well, doing. I'm standing I'm on a public asking. sidewalk filming. That's why I don't no, know what you're you were doing. not on a public sidewalk. Okay. The concerning aspect was the apparent lack of basic legal understanding among the officers, who accused the man of making up the notion of reasonable, articulable suspicion. What are you trying to do? I'm my business. You're not money your business, obviously. You're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Is this, is this a consensual trying? conversation? No, you're talking to me. I'm talking to you. I don't want to talk to you no more. Let me ask you a question. You have a lot of questions. You? I'll answer them. No problem. What's the, main, what's the main part of your job? What's the most important thing about your job? What do you think? Oh, I know. I want to see if you know. That's irrelevant. Oh, that's irrelevant? Yes, because you're digging. So why you took you're the digging. job? You're why did you take right the job if your job is irrelevant? Sir, we want to know what is your business here? To ask you questions. No, you're, you're doing something with the vehicle. Yeah. You're touching okay. a vehicle. You touching, can't do that. Yes. Is that a crime to touch you're a recording. car? I want to know what are you is doing? Is recording a crime? So if someone approached your car, you start touching your car and doing something with it and recording okay. it. Okay. You don't think as that's suspicious? As long as they're not trying to break into it. But how will you know if you don't ask questions? You observed. Did you see me trying to break into your car? I, I you stopped you before you did it, maybe. I don't yeah, know. Really? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. We stopped you ahead of How? time. Really? It was going to get... It would have Articulate it. Articulate it. What's the most important thing about your job? No, I'm not going to do this for you. I'm not going back and forth. You don't, you don't care that the citizens I'm have I'm not going a back question? and forth for you because you're trying to okay. play mind games. I'm just asking you for your opinion. You're playing mind games. Okay, I'm going to tell you since you don't you want to converse. The most important thing about your job is to uphold the Constitution. Remember you swore to protect it? Remember you swore to protect my rights? Remember that? The First Amendment, Second Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, my right to shut up. The First Amendment, my right to free speech. You remember that? You know that these, this is a protected activity? That's Photography, I'm on a public sidewalk. That's fine. Right? So it's not suspicious. Yes, it is when you're no, sticking your not. phone into the camera. No, it's not. If yes, I was praying is. right here, is that suspicious? Yeah, that suspicious. No. If I was praying right no, no. here next to your car, is that suspicious? Why? Because it's a protected activity, right? No. Same as photography. What are you doing suspicious? Freedom no no press, one goes up to a car and starts Freedom of the press is not... That is suspicious. You didn't say right. why you're recording. Ask me the question. Why are you already. recording a vehicle? To see if you guys, right, that swore to protect my rights, one, know my rights, know that, see that I'm exercising my rights, and, and respect my rights and protect my rights. This is a First Amendment protected activity. So, so I think that to see if you guys would either try to violate my rights or you would respect my rights. The man adeptly exposed the officer's shortcomings, showcasing his exceptional understanding of the law and guiding them through the legal obligations governing their interaction with the public. During a constitutional audit in Englewood, New Jersey, Amagansett Press faced unwelcome attention from a store owner who called the police due to Amagansett filming. Officer De La Cruz responded, initially maintaining politeness. Can you help me? No, not at all. What Thank you. Guys you. Doing? Sorry? What are you guys doing? I'm shooting a video. For who? What? For who? What is this, an interrogation? It's a high-end luxury store here. Yeah, well, normally you come out and say, my, I'll name, call the police my name's Joe. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm Lou. Welcome. I'm the CEO here. 
Okay, well, my name's Jason. I okay. was saying you usually people come out and say, my name's Joe. Okay, and, uh, all right, I'm introducing myself. So. Okay. What are you guys doing? Who do you work for? That's a lot of questions, man. All right, well, I'm going to call police. You're going to call the police? Absolutely. Really? Hello? How are you guys doing? Good. Okay. I'm going to be a friend of 26, uh, pal. How's it going? Good, how are you guys? Doing good. What's going on today? You What's going just on? Fil filming up and down the businesses. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Any yeah. reason why? Any reason why? Yeah, I mean, some of the business owners are just concerned. Oh, I got so you. No, it's just what I felt concerned. like doing today. It's a beautiful day. That's okay. Awful. Do you guys have any ID on you? Do I have any ID? Yeah. I always have ID. Okay. Can I see it? Why would I give you ID? It's just a routine thing, just asking for ID. I mean, what, what's your? Why do you got? What, what are you guys filming? I just told you I'm out enjoying a beautiful day, taking some video. Okay, well, I mean, some of the business owners are concerned. Some of the businesses have been vandalized before. They've been robbed before. So, I mean, just addressing those concerns. Okay. Well, do you Is have any... Is there any reason why you guys don't want to provide any ID? Is there any reason that you would I think... Just, you... I just told you why. No, so they're concerned, so you're I'm not letting me finish, you're Mike. You're not party. letting me. Let's keep it a cordial conversation. It is a cordial this, conversation, is this a, but you're trying to run this conversation. That's not how this is going to Is this go. a consensual conversation? Yeah, absolutely. Well, then you have a nice day. However, when asked for ID, Amigan said refused, leading Officer De La Cruz to call for higher ranking officers. Oh, no, What's up, gentlemen? What's going on? I'm out enjoying the day, taking some video, man. <laughs> what you guys doing? So they're taking videos in front of all the businesses. Yeah. have called, concerned because, you know, they've been burglarized in the past, so I just asked them for my ID. They don't want to provide it. They're not really saying what specifically why they're out here. They're just saying they're out here the day. Okay. Is there a specific purpose, or you just like the store? I'm just out taking some video and taking some pictures, man. That's all it is. Whatever you say, that's it. That's Simple fine. as that. Well, no, I mean, that's Well, you, you know what? And I don't want to take it out on you. Your officer's a little uneducated about the law here. And coming off a little... Your job description tells you to de-escalate things, not escalate. You're trying to ramp it up. So I'm Am just gonna, I? I'm, I'm not the one who has the camera in my face. This is what I mean. So all I'm right. just going to stick with the Sarge here. Well, I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing, okay? I'm all ears. I'm out on the sidewalk right. taking pictures and video. Of what, I'm sorry? Taking pictures and videos, just anything I video. can see. Okay. Anything I can see. All right. all right, well listen, the reason why I'm asking is sometimes you get freelancers, they're doing certain things, they're writing an article sometimes. I'm just asking what, what the backstory is. No, that's, ex that's exactly right. And I instructed Officer De La Cruz here, who doesn't want to let me get a word in edgewise, mm -hmm. that this is a consensual conversation. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to answer any of her questions, but I was trying to be cordial until she started getting an attitude. Well, the complainant so. felt a little un because the camera was stuck right inside of their face, so that's why they called. Well, that's what they told you. Mm -hmm. That's what they told you. Oh. Yep. So you guys are you independent guys? Or are you, are you... Just out taking some video and pictures, man. That's all I'm doing. You, you understand how vague that is, right? Well, I understand how vague it is when she tells me she's demanding my identification because she thinks I'm going to rob a store Listen, or vandalize a store. You're deflecting. You're no, def I'm not deflecting. Do you understand how it, vague it is when I come out? This is not a usual occurrence. Well, I don't, I don't, here, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Let me finish my thought, though. Normally, I'm on the avenue all the time, right? The avenue is what we kind of colloquially call Palisade Avenue, okay. right? And I've been here for, I've been employed with the PD for like 19 years. Okay. This may be the second time okay. that there's some, there's two guys with professional cameras and mics. So I'm just kind of inquiring what the backstory is. So when you tell me, no, we're just, you know, we'll just take a video. Well, yeah, obviously you are, but I don't know if you're working for someone. I don't know if you're well, it doesn't. A that's a, what's the difference? No, it doesn't matter at all. Yeah, I'm just exactly. asking. I'm just asking all, so that it would make sense. Well, all I'm telling you is, is like, and I'm, you're being very respectful, yeah. so I'm going to give you that respect back. Yeah, I don't back. have a reason not to. But all I'm telling you is, is that, as I stated, this is a consensual conversation. I don't have to answer any of your questions. I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong. But I'm voluntarily to just you know? try to quell your fears and let yeah. you know what I'm doing. I'm not saying you did anything wrong. I'm just I know trying to understand. And this this officer right here, Dela Cruz, needs to learn when she's got legal authority, lawful authority, to ask someone for their identification. I can ask you anyone for ID. You can ask, but you can't demand it. The sergeant demonstrated a more appropriate approach, recognizing that no laws were broken and engaging in a calm conversation to understand the nature of the videos, in contrast to Officer Dela Cruz's response. In this incident, a police officer approached a driver in a parked car who appeared unresponsive. After instructing the driver to put the car in park, the officer began questioning him. The driver, who had been asleep in his car, couldn't provide a satisfactory reason for the interaction. Hey, how you doing? Secaucus police, put your car in park. Put your car in park. 
Put your car in park. Put it in park. Put the gear in park. Put the gear in park. Perfect. How you feeling? Okay. See August Police, okay. Officer Gonzalez, it's been recording my body cam, okay? What happened? We're home, man. That's it. Uh-huh. You know where you are? Yeah, Hogan. Where are you? By Hogan. You where? By Hogan. By Hogan? By Hoboken. By Hoboken? You know what town you're in? You know, you're not in Hoboken. Home. Where's home? Like two blocks away. I live in uh, Seacaucus. You live in Seacaucus? Yes, Where in Seacaucus do you live? Like a block away. Block away? Yes, Can sir. you roll out the window a little bit more? Okay, you understand what's going on right now? Yes, sir. What happened? I'm going home, is it? No, you understand what's going on, though? You understand why I'm here talking to I, you? Of course, brother. What happened? Uh, I want to be going to stop. Huh? I want to be going to stop. It's not more of a vehicle stop. You weren't driving. You're right, brother. I'm going straight home. You're going straight home? Where are you coming from? Uh, Union City. You come from Union City? Yes, sir. What were you doing? Uh, driving straight home. You were just driving straight home? Yes, sir. Do you understand why why I'm talking to you, though, right now? Do you understand yes, what sir. happened? What happened right now? I was going straight night. I said I was going to go home. Huh? I'm straight home. That's it. You're going straight home. That's yes, it? Sir, yeah, but, but you're not answering my question. Uh, you weren't driving your car, okay? I didn't stop you. You already stopped. Yes, sir. The officer then inquired about the driver's alcohol consumption, and upon learning he had consumed a couple of drinks, instructed him to step out of the vehicle. Stand that. Yes, sir. You understand what you were doing? Yes, officer. I'm stop it. I'm going to home. No, you're not understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. The reason, reason why I'm here is because you fell asleep. Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. I'm no, you didn't say any of that, okay? I just woke you up right now. Yes, sir. I went straight home. That's it. Okay, you you're repeating yourself. All right. Huh? I, I, two blocks away. That's it. Two blocks away or anything? Yes, sir. I All right. It's, 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 it's okay. You, you, your speech a little slurred. Okay. Did you drink anything? I had a couple of drinks. You had a couple of drinks? Yes, sir. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna ask you to step out of the car for me. Your car. Leave your car in park. All right. Just step out of the car. We're gonna go right here in the sidewalk. Look, yes, look, look towards me. Okay. What's a couple? Uh, two. Okay, two. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, All right. Just gotta get the uh, front. <coughs> What's a couple of drinks? Like two. About two. Yeah. Um. During the interaction, the driver revealed he was a police officer from the Union City Police Department. Angered by this disclosure, the officer questioned the driver's motive for mentioning it and emphasized that a body camera recorded the entire encounter. Okay for me? I'm sorry. I'm asking you for anything at the time, okay? What are you doing? Have you? Sorry, I guess uh, you've done this already in the past? You have? Yeah, I do work well for Union City PD. What's that? I do work well for Union City PD. I, I never asked you that. I know. Why would you bring it up? I'm just telling you. Okay. But what, that has, what does that have to do with uh, you being checked like this before? Nothing. No. I guess you want me to take some type of preference or something that you mentioned that? No. Like I said, you're being recorded right now also, okay? I don't know about that. I don't. Okay? I mean, All right. Do me a favor. Take your head off. You're doing your job. Take your head off. Okay? Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do, okay? Do you have any matches? No. Contacts? you have a glass eye? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to ask you to do... Okay, look, look at me. Look at my pen. Okay? Alright? And you just follow my pen without moving your head. Alright? Just your eyes, okay? Don't move your head. Look straight and just move your eyes. Again, look straight. Okay, just move your eyes.
Okay, come over here. Come over here. All right, what I'm gonna ask you to do, okay? Right? The one leg stand, okay? Now stand like this. Hands to your side like this, exactly like you did with the with the nine steps, okay? You're gonna hold your foot up, okay? All right, like this. You're gonna say, you're gonna count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, okay? Six inches up, which equals about about the size of a dollar bill, okay? The length of a dollar bill, okay? Six inches off the ground like this, okay? One, one thousand, two, one thousand, all the way to thirty. I'll tell you when to begin, okay? Either either leg is fine. Towards me, towards me, towards me, towards me. All right, you may begin. Count out loud. Okay, just turn around for me and then just uh, put your arms back like this. All right, turn around real quick and just put your arms out like that. Do that for me. Is that right? Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Put your hands together like this. Put your hands together. Okay, you're being arrested right now for suspicious of driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? The driver was subjected to field sobriety tests, and upon completion, the officer promptly arrested him on a DUI charge. A man was pulled over by a cop who immediately demanded his license, registration, and proof of insurance without explaining the reason for the stop. The man, remaining polite and patient, asked about the cause of the stop, but the cop insisted on getting the documents first. The man, aware of his rights, explained that he didn't have to physically hand over his license, just show it. Sir, driver's license proof insurance. What'd I do? I'll use driver's license and I'll explain to you. I'm working on it. No, what'd I do first? Um, why you pull me over? Driver's license? No, what I put, what do you put me over for? Tell me that first. Sir, let me explain something to you. And what's your, I know, I know, I know the law. No, you have to tell me why you pull me over. I don't, I don't have to tell you. I have driver's I license. I have to identify you first. No, you don't. You have my tag number right, right there. Are you J Troop or K Troop? Who are you? No, what do you pull me over for first? Sir. You can be difficult. I do a white. I'm not trying to be difficult. You I'm just telling difficult. you. I'm not. And you're also. The cop, unsatisfied, demanded the man step out of the vehicle without providing a reason. The man, still seeking an explanation, refused to exit. To emphasize the recording, he adjusted his dash cam. Anyway, I'm just asking why did you pull me over first? I did one wide open throttle. I'm a diagnostic mechanic. And you also pull my son over the same thing too, Caleb Miller. You saw me at Roses one time with open carry weapon. I'm just asking, and I know Jamie Atkins and all the bunch, whatever, but why'd you pull me over? Why? Need to do that first. No, you have my you have my tag number, you can run it and get my number. Tag number comes back to the driver's vehicle. It does show the insurance though on the phone. That's correct. No, but, but tell me why. You have to tell me why you pulled me over. You haven't identified yourself yet. I see a uniform. I see a vehicle. That's what I Okay. Why did you no, pull I me over? Listen, I did a wide open throttle. Listen. Real quick. I'm a diagnostic mechanic. I'm working on a truck. And I'm heading toward a guy's house to help me with it in Columbia. I am listening. No, you don't have to explain. That's a cop's plane. No. No. I need to identify who I'm speaking with. I'll explain you why I am I'm Robert V. Henschling. My birthday is 622-62. I own this truck, and I have registration and everything. You don't have to know that. Tell me why you pulled me over. I know who you are, okay. and I know you know Jamie Atkins, R37, okay? okay. I'm not I'm not naming names, but you have to tell me, you know, who you are. Identify, identify yourself. You, you do. I own this truck. You can run my tag number. Brand new tag, brand new license. Tell me why. There's my proof of insurance. It has my name on it right there. I don't have to hand it this to, to you. All I have to do is just show you. I'm not trying to be difficult. You I'm, are, I'm asserting my right. No, I'm a nice guy. I'm a really nice yeah, guy. Am I not being nice? You are, but I don't have to, tell, I don't have to do that. No. Tell me why you put me over. Tell me. No. No. 
in fact, and lock the doors or our window up a little bit too. I just need to ask. I'm going to a friend's house in Columbia right now. I did one wide open throttle on my truck. I just took a 1,200 mile round trip. Jamie knows that. He I sent him all the information, whatever. You know, I did one wide open throttle. I was not reckless driving. The situation escalated when the cop grabbed the man, attempted to force him out, and even pointed a taser. The man stood his ground, asserting he had done nothing wrong. Way back there, sitting back there. I have you on video right there. That's fine. That's really cool. I appreciate that. I really do. No, I'm not stepping out. No. There's no reason to step out either. There's no reason either. No, no, no. 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 I can give you my license, but I'm not stepping out of the booth. No. It's very dangerous for me to be out, stepping out, you know, in this situation. You don't know me, I don't know you. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. There's my license right there. You get this order? No. There's my license. It's not a lawful command. No. No. Get out of here. No. There's no reason for this. Quit reaching on the seat. You leave it like My right gun's here. over there. There's no reason for this. Here's my brand new license. Jamie just got me these licenses. Do not do that. No. Get out of car. Get out of truck. Get out of truck right now. There's no reason to do this. You did this to my son. Get out of truck. No. Hey. You're under, There's no reason. You're under arrest for disorderly conduct. I didn't do anything. They need to obey a lawful command. Get out of the right there. No. 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 Stop it. Get out of the truck. Stop it. Get out of the truck. Get out of the truck. You can truck. call Jamie Atkins right now. Get out of the truck. I have my license on. I didn't. I have my seatbelt on. I didn't do anything wrong. Get out of the truck. <laughs> no. You call, you call R37 right now. The cop's aggressive behavior raises concerns and legal action may be warranted. Hold on to our final clip, which is the most scariest and most creepiest one. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our creepiest videos. Jefferson, Ohio witnessed a disturbing incident on September 11, 2016, involving Sergeant James A. Truckee from the Ashtabula County Sheriff's Department. Truckee has been indicted on multiple charges, including felonious assault, tampering with records, assault, and dereliction of duty. The incident unfolded when police body camera footage captured Truckee punching Edward Dirigal, who was on the ground, surrendering. The driver, Eric Platt, attempted to flee the scene, and when Dirigal was already in a surrendered state, Truckee allegedly assaulted him. Residents over here east off the of clay going through backyards. East off the of clay going through backyards.
on the ground. You, stop. Get on the ground. Get on your face right now. Get on your face. We got one running, Mark, over here. Get on your face. Don't you move. Other one's right there, Mark. Put your hands behind your back right now. Don't you even dare move. I won't. Don't you move a muscle. I won't. The driver's running. Mark got the driver's a dog. You hit me in the You hit me, mother with the punk shit. Shut up. I didn't say a word. We got 121. I didn't say a word. 16 after the other one. Whew. What are you guys running for? I'm, I'm a passenger, brother. Copy 121. What do you want me to do? Jump off the back? You know what I'm saying? We're in the field. 416's got the other one. K9. I ain't trying to argue with y'all. I was Happy on the back. You hit a police officer. I didn't hit a police officer. I wasn't driving. You had plenty of time to get off. I had you point numerous times at to get doing, off. At doing 70 miles an hour? You think I'm going to jump off? You stopped at one point. I, you stopped right before you guys hit the deputy. What do you want me to do, brother? I'm a passenger, man. What's your name? Ed Durgle. Gurgle? Yeah. I deserve to get punched in the face and my eyes split open. I didn't do anything wrong, bro. I was a passenger. Dirigal reported suffering brain trauma along with cuts to his eye and face. Truckee is currently facing assault charges and has been placed on administrative leave. The sheriff's department has refrained from commenting until the investigation concludes. Dirigal's attorney claims that all charges against his client have been dropped. In a separate development, Platt has been indicted on charges of felonious assault, failure to comply, and resisting arrest. He allegedly attempted to cause physical harm to Truckee with an ATV during a police chase. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos.